What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I'm a producer, guitarist, and teacher here on YouTube. Really exciting video for you today for everybody who loves third-party plugins like myself. We're gonna be going over the plugin manager on Logic Pro, how to organize your plugins and sort your third-party plugins, just how to optimize your workflow in general. Anyways, stay tuned. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. All right, so I've got a Logic session pulled up here. Now, a couple things to note. Your plugins are gonna be found in your audio effects FX section of your Logic project. Um, so if you want a shortcut, you can just press X, brings up your channel strips. Here's audio FX. Here's all of your plugins. There's out of the box stock Logic plugins. There's also going to be third party plugins found under audio units. So this is where you can add your plugins into your channel strip in whatever order you desire. Now, to get into your plugin manager, you're gonna to wanna to go to Logic Pro at the top, preferences, and then all the way at the bottom, we have this very helpful tool called plugin manager. So I'm gonna click, click plugin manager here. So what this does is it helps you validate as well as sort your plugins. So I can see on the left hand side here, I've got all my out of the box plugins from Apple in the category section. And at the bottom, I've got manufacturer. Now, now what does that mean? Well, manufacturer is all of your third party plugins that you've downloaded sorted by the company or the manufacturer who produced that plugin. So I don't have too many. I actually used to have way more, but I've started to narrow down my use of third party plugins into ones I like the best. Um, but here are some examples. You know, we have Neural DSP, TuneTrack, TSE Audio, Cable Guys. Those are the actual manufacturers of my plugins. And if I click into them, I can see all the plugins that I have for those manufacturers. Now, the reason it's important to sort and use the plugin manager to your advantage is that if I wanna quickly use and find a plugin, I have to memorize who the manufacturer was for this third party plugin. So for example, Neural DSP makes all of my amp simulator plugins that I like to use. For me, if I have a lot of third party plugins, I would much rather just click into amps and pedals to be able to access my amps as opposed to having to go through and memorize and sort through my manufacturers. That's how I like to use my workflow. One, one useful aspect of the plugin manager on top of the sorting and organization of your plugins is also the validation of your plugins. If you don't see your plugin on your channel strip, so in audio FX, if you go into audio units and your manufacturer here is here, but your plugin is not here, there's a good chance that you want to just make sure that plugin is validated. So if your plugins from your third parties are not showing up in your list, another great solution here is to go into your plugin manager and validate your plugins. Now, we can see here that these are already validated, but if I wanted to validate, I could, what I say, um, what we can click on here is the reset and rescan selection button. So if I select reset and rescan, what happens here is your computer is going to rescan your plugin to make sure it's usable in Logic and it's then going to validate it after the fact. So I can see here, Logic is conducting tests on this plugin and I can see that I've passed all of the tests. Logic has then validated this plugin. So perfect, I can see that my validation has succeeded. So there are often times when Logic by default um, fails to validate a plugin. When this happens, you'll be able to see failed validation. Coming in here, resetting and rescanning will more often than not fix this issue. But going back to the sorting, as far as what I like to do is I just want to focus on the category of the plugin, not the manufacturer, especially if you're using lots of third-party plugins. So what I'm gonna do, because I know Neural DSP makes my amp simulators that I constantly use, I'm going to just take my amp sims and put them in the amps and pedals category. So I'm gonna take both of these plugins here I'm gonna click and drag them into amps and pedals. Now, the one thing that I like about Logic is it doesn't pull them out of the manufacturer option if you want to still use this. But if I do go into amps and pedals now, I can see my additions. Now, let's see what else I'm working with here. Um, let's click on plugin alliance. What do I have going? 
well, I have a mag EQ, so this is just an equalizer plugin. Well, Plugin Alliance, you can see I have about five plugins here, so it might be difficult for me to remember the manufacturer of this mag EQ. What I want to do is I'll just take mag EQ and put it in my EQ section. So when I click on EQ, I can now see mag EQ is sorted appropriately. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click done. And you're going to see the benefit of this very quickly. When I go back into audio FX, instead of going down to audio units and having to remember, oh, who's Cable Guys, Isotope, ML Sound Lab, what do these manufacturers make? I just go into my amps and pedals. Oh, perfect. Here's my amp sim archetype Gojira, archetype Pliny. I want to use my mag EQ. Mag EQ is right here, and I can add it right onto the channel strip. So that's how to success successfully optimize, uh, optimize your plugins in the plugin manager in Logic Pro. It's beneficial for sorting, organizing, as well as validating your third-party plugins to ensure that they do populate within your Logic project itself. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Really appreciate it. You could have been doing anything right now, but you chose to click on this video for that. Really appreciate it. I hope you learned something in this video. I hope this helps create some efficiencies in your Logic workflow. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment box. Also down below, let me know your favorite third-party plugin. Thanks a lot.